Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to this video which is going to be a bit of a Pink Crush Cosmetics special because I'm actually going to show you four palettes from Pink Crush Cosmetics which just have recently launched and three of them I'm going to use, okay? So that is what we're going to do today. Also I want to use this opportunity to give you a bit of a life update because I'm basically filming this during my break and if you're not new here you know that I do took about a week and a half off for my Passover holiday and this is where I'm filming this, okay? So I'm just gonna give you a bit of a life update, how it has been going and how happy I've been. <laughs> All right, sweeties, that is what it is. Now let me quickly show you the palettes that we are using today. So I bought them on launch because I was waiting for this launch like so, so bad. Okay, so sweeties, the Fairy Tales palette. This is how she looks, so, so cute. And this is the inside. Of course, they look maybe partially a little bit better because I have been working with those palettes quite a bit now lately off camera and now of course I'm going to show you also several looks later on in the video with those palettes. Okay, sweeties, Lucid Dreams. This is how this one looks and uh, beautiful, right? <laughs> All right, and then the third one that I bought is the Nocturnal Garden palette, and they're way more on the website, okay? I don't know if they're right now available. I think when I'm filming this, there there is a restock happening, but I don't know what the situation will be when this video goes live, because that's a couple days later. All right, so this is the Nocturnal Garden palette, and with those I actually got a one palette in PR, and that is the How Merlot Can You Go palette. Now, sweeties, uh, this is just the cutest title. The cutest title, I have to say. And this is how she looks. Now, this one I have not used yet. I'm planning on it. I was actually planning on doing a special with all of these four palettes and combining them and doing looks and everything. But you will find out in the makeup application part in my life update why that didn't happen, okay? But I'm going to still use this and pictures will come up, of course, on my social media with this one, all right? Of course, the other pictures too, but this one I just haven't filmed with it yet, but I definitely wanted to show you. Okay, sweetie, then if you just found me, <laughs> Hi, welcome. I'm Leora, makeup artist and stylist living for colorful and uh, though very, very subtle makeup and of course very colorful and subtle styling. And if that is something that you would like, then just check out my channel and also my social media, which is linked in the description box down below. Get to know me a little bit and subscribe because I would absolutely love to have you here. All right, sweeties, now without further ado, we are going to go into the live update, of course, also creating this look. Then you you're going to see these swatches of three palettes of these that I've actually been working with. Beyond that, of course, also several looks with these palettes combined and also some of them separately. And after that, I'm going to meet here again for the review part. So we have a lot to do, so stay tuned. Okay, sweeties, here we are. And this is the first video that I'm filming in a very, very long time. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, I want to pull in the three palettes that I showed you in the intro and I'm going to try to just like take some shades out of each one. All right, so let us go in with this one here. This is the Lucid Dreams palette and I think I want to go in with this one. This is, I'm not 100% sure if this is a true matte or if this is a satin, but let's just take it because I haven't used it yet. So um, I think it is a bit sparkly. It could be a satin which is, I, I never know if I like that or not, but let's just see. Okay, so in any case, I'm also wearing the ABH eyeshadow primer because that is right now uh, my favorite. You know, I have to say that this is the eyeshadow primer that right now is working with most formulas consistently good, you know? So let us just put this one on. This is the shade Tranquility. And I also wanted to, oh, this is beautiful. Um, I'm going to also give you a bit of an update on how life has been going because when I'm filming this, we're still in the middle of Passover, my Pesach, uh, which is Passover in Hebrew. And um, you know, I had dreams. <laughs> I had dreamed, and I even said that in a video before Passover started, that, you know what, I'm gonna film, I'm just not going to upload during Passover, and I'm going to film, and everything is fine, I'm going to have a lot of content ready once I'm back from my break, and I'm so, so glad that I have this break. Seriously, I could not have done it, I could not have edited, and I could not have, like, anything, anything. But um, I thought that I would film, like, maybe 
every day or you know at least some of the days fact is that now um, we're halfway through Passover and this is my first video that I'm filming and it's only the second time that I'm wearing makeup you know <laughs> because I actually had a bit of a breakdown during Passover not that I was like sobbing and like I don't know something like that but I had a bit of a, um, hmm, how do I want to call this? Um, I just had enough. I just had enough, you know, because this whole time leading up to Passover was extremely, extremely crazy. And of course, then maybe you know that uh, my brother is in Ukraine and all of that is, of course, super, super strenuous. And also in my own country, um, we kind of have been under a bit of a, it has been difficult let's put it that way you know so uh, maybe you're following the news and I hope you do because it's very important especially in these days and it is yeah it is hard and it is very very it's not pleasant you know but such is life so uh, I kind of feel like we do have a responsibility and we definitely should watch the news so I don't I don't get it when people don't um, because you have to you know what can we say all right, so uh, this has been very, very hard. And then also my mom actually um, had COVID. And most of you know my mom here from my channel. And I like, you know, that is also something where you're like, she's on a different continent. She has COVID and I'm sitting here and I'm like, wow, she is 80 plus. She is uh, in, a, in a group that is has a lot of preconditions. You know, that is not, not really uh, what you wish for anyone. So um, she's fine so far so good thank god but just saying you know a lot of stuff has been going on and um yeah and then of course i do have my seven children at home and i'm also having guests every day and with all of that i kind of reached the breaking point you know so i could not even i could not even think of getting up in the morning because in case you don't know i have to get up at 3 30 in the morning in order to make to do makeup and to film or even if i don't film it's also it's the same schedule so so I just uh, I couldn't do it you know so I actually spent a couple of days now being completely without makeup and not even entering this room here and I have to say I didn't miss it <laughs> I didn't miss it now I'm extremely glad that I'm back here um, but I kind of had to push myself a little bit because um, life without makeup is possible it is <laughs> yeah okay i'm going to use the same shade i'm just going to switch the brush and i'm going in with a bit of um more fluffy brush and just pack on a little bit more and kind of try to blend it out a little bit better i'm going to try to blend this shade out with with itself basically because i don't really have a shade um in those palettes well i could use this one i could use this one from the nocturnal garden palette but i don't want to and so uh, that's why i'm going to just try to blend it out with itself it kind of feels like this is a satin i mean satins is not necessarily my my preference because i just feel like mattes are so much nicer but we all know that of course a lot of people love satins a lot and of course um they are very workable also for people with more mature eyes so that is really really nice all right sweeties um this is what it is i'm just now going to spend some time blending this out but yeah so what have i been doing then basically my holiday has been cooking, cleaning, laundry, hosting, and then uh, start from the top. <laughs> yeah, so that's what I've been doing. And it's so funny because um, a lot of people wished me, of course, a happy Passover and um, that I'll enjoy my time off and that I'll, yeah, I do, because otherwise I would have had a complete breakdown. <laughs> if, if, that, if I would have still done YouTube, that would have absolutely not been possible. I don't know where to take the time from in the day. You know, right now it's just super, super crazy. But uh, that, that was just so, so, so funny how everybody was like, yeah, it's going to be so nice and Passover is my, my favorite holiday. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> I don't get it. For me, it is just pure stress. And you know what? It's true though, I used to like it. I used to like it when I was a single girl or a single young woman. And I was basically just floating between invitations in different homes, you know? And you come, you enjoy your time, you have a good food, 
hopefully you have good food you have good company and then you say thank you and you go home and you rest you know but in my case that is of course not not true <laughs> you know so uh, I cannot really say that I'm enjoying myself I have to say you know it is what it is and it's part of life and I hope it passes over super fast yeah so that is basically uh, my update the thing is that um, actually one of you and maybe you know her from the comments because she always comments as Auntie Pat and she's not really my auntie but in a way she is <laughs> and she actually sent me something on Facebook and um, she sent me something that said something like um, nobody else is responsible for for your happiness nobody can make you happy if you think that someone else is going to make you happy and you rely on that you'll be disappointed you are in charge of your own happiness and that actually was like yeah right right so um and that is why i'm sitting here today you know because yes i needed that time off also of this place because of course before passover i've been working super super hard to create content and i was filming all the time and i was editing all the time and everything and makeup all the time and it was kind of healthy to also just step away and be okay without it and uh, yeah see that there is more in life and also get something else done you know but um, it has been so so good for me also to now come back because this is my happy place and it just um, you know that the moment I sat down this morning I was like first of all I always think can I still do makeup or have I completely forgotten how to do it that is like my my fear that I always like instinctively have <laughs> crazy but beyond that I was like also uh, wow this is so nice you know all right so let us go in with a different shade which one should we take I think I think I'm gonna go in with this one this is from the nocturnal garden palette and this is a super super dark blue with a bit of micro glitter and if this is not dark enough for me I'm going to top it off with the black all right so let us just do that I'm gonna go in with obscurity and I'm just going to deepen up the look a little bit because I want this to be dark you know I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do on the lid I kind of feel like I have to use then for that one the fairy tales palette because um, that is the palette that I have not used now in this look yet but let's just see okay so this is looking really really nice this is actually exactly what I was that what I was craving for so that's amazing and you can also see that they build really really well on top of each other so that is beautiful there's also something else that um, that someone sent to me or was it even one of my kids someone sent something to me where I also said yes that is that is exactly no now I remember it is actually something that is printed on a t-shirt that my bigger girls and I we bought that the other day in a secondhand store and uh, you know sometimes I go with them and let them choose a few things and stuff and with so many kids it's really secondhand most of the time and they found a t-shirt where it said um, remember more or less okay I don't I don't exactly know but um, something like remember the days when you craved what you have today you know and I was like yes you know because now my channel is going okay is it like super super good no but I was always you know I was always yearning and craving for uh, people to see me you know and to to appreciate what I'm doing and also to have a certain size now my channel is not like super big but I never thought that I'm going to get beyond a hundred subscribers so that is nice that I have now um, 5,000 400 ish something like that so that is amazing and I never thought that I would have that and I was uh, yearning for it and I was praying for it and now I have it you know and sometimes um, especially when there is a lot of pressure or things like this then you forget that you are actually now at a place and of course not for everybody it's YouTube for people it's like for other people it's different things um, for, for some people it is I don't know you know whatever it is 
um, that you have been craving this and that at some point you were at a stage where you wanted to be exactly where you are now. And in a way it is also, you know, with me and my family, as much as I complain about them, <laughs> because it's, it's really, really hard work with so many children, um, it is also something that at some point I was craving, you know, I was craving exactly this. And yeah, is it the easiest thing? Is it like in a Hollywood movie that everything is like nice and whatever? No, it is very, very hard work, but still would I change it? Most days I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. So because at the beginning of our marriage, maybe you remember, maybe you have been here that long, um, we were told we won't have children, you know? Yeah, so that is what it is. And now we have them and now that's what we do. So yeah. All right, so I'm just going to pack on a tiny little bit more here. And now I really have to make a quick decision on uh, what I'm gonna do <laughs> for the rest of the look. I have been super, super much into these halo eyes lately that has been my thing absolutely and maybe i'm also going to add some glitter because that is also what i've been into lately like a lot a lot you know so i'm going to just do a bit of a um, new base i'm also using the abh primer for that and i'm just going to kind of you know outline the halo a little bit something like that and I kind of feel like, what can we do with the Fairy Tales palette? I think, I think I'm going to use maybe these two. Maybe this one, because this is a beautiful duochrome. And this one here, maybe. I think that's what we should do. The green I used already in a different look, and that is also super, super beautiful and striking. It's just that I have used it already. And uh, yeah, <laughs> so, okay, I'm just going to pack on a little bit more of the, of the base and try to have it a little bit professional while I'm talking, which is super, super difficult for me. I'm kind of just trying to like lean onto my cheek actually while I'm doing this in order to get some stability while I'm, while I'm talking, but it is what it is. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Nobody is going to see it if it's not. <laughs> really? All right, sweeties, that is what I'm doing now. I'm going to uh, take another packing brush and I'm which one? this one, and I'm going to uh, switch to this palette, the Fairy Tales palette, and I'm going to use this one. This is the shade Fantasy. All right, so I'm going to put this on towards the sides. This looks like a shimmer. This doesn't look like a duochrome. So let's just put that one to the left and to the right and then the duochrome shade into the middle and I think this should be a very very beautiful look so yeah in any case um, you know life is also I think we should also get away a little bit from this whole idea that everything in life needs to be enjoyed all the time sometimes it just is what it is now do I have dreams do I want to rest do I want to have success without working for it <laughs> yes <laughs> you know because sometimes it feels like well there are people out there for example when we're already sp speaking about a uh, YouTube who have like one viral video and then suddenly they have like a super super big uh, channel without even having done anything and I'm slaving away here for five years right so um, now do I mind that time no would I have liked to have faster success absolutely but for me it is also growth I think my, my personal growth of course not not the channel growth but my personal growth I think um, I've learned so, so much also about myself, about endurance and about doing things against all odds, you know? And I think that is something that is actually super, super valuable for me also outside of YouTube. And I think um, with normal life, it is very, very similar because, uh, you know, the thing is I'm when I'm cooking and spending so much time also in the kitchen now, right now and always, because my family is always hungry. Um, 
do I like this? No, because I don't enjoy cooking because of my eating disorder. The kitchen is a very, very dangerous place for me. Plus, I'm not eating the food that I'm cooking, you know? So I have basically no gain from this personally or no pleasure. I'm not getting any pleasure out of this because I'm not eating it and it is just threatening for me the whole time, you know? But um, it is also something that can make you stronger. You know, and that is something that I'm just trying to remind myself that first of all, I do not have to like everything because that is it's like watching the news. You know, sometimes you just have to expose yourself to stuff because that is that is how life is, you know, and it doesn't help to like run away or to ignore things. So and this is basically also how I'm feeling my life right now. Um, is it the best time ever? No. <laughs> but it is going to be okay, you know? All right, so I'm just going to use this one here also with my finger a little bit and just trying to get a bit of a transition, like a dreamy transition kind of a situation here. And uh, and I think this is going to be the look. Now, while I'm off camera, I might do a glitter liner or something like this. I'm very, very much debating it because I think the dreaminess kind of, that could be nice, you know? But uh, you, of course, know because you saw the finished look already. But uh, let's just see. I think this looks beautiful. Now, I'm going to fine tune this a tiny little bit more, but of course, in just a second, you're going to see the swatches of those three palettes. And of course, I'm going to also put on the screen which palette is what, so you know. Beyond that, of course, you're also going to see the other looks that I have done with all of these palettes. And of course, then we're going to meet here again for the review part, so stay tuned. Okay, sweeties, here we are, of course, with the finished look and the finished styling. You've seen me creating part of this look, and you also, of course, saw that I added some glitter. I had already kind of thought about it while I was applying this look, and uh, because I'm just so into it these days. And uh, yeah, so this glitter is just random glitter off from AliExpress, so never mind that. I really, really like it though, because it just, you know, this whole magical thing. There is something really, really magical about this whole collection, or a lot of the palettes in this collection and I just feel like from these three that I use today it kind of this whole look captures all of these three palettes you know there is something like super super magical about all of this so yeah that is how it looks now let me zoom you in and show you and then of course I'm also going to tell you how I finished the look okay let's see if you can see what I did <laughs> All right, uh, sweeties, actually it was super, super easy to finish this look because I just applied some green. I have a green on my waterline and then I used some greens from two palettes and that is really it, you know? So, but I'll show you in a second. All right, sweeties, uh, let's zoom you back out. All right. Um, let me show you. This is what I have in my inner corner and this is also the light green shade that I used to blend out the other shade and that is actually the one that I already spoke about in the makeup application part and that is this one from the um, Fairy Tales palette. You know, this I have very very close under my waterline and then I blended it out with the lighter green shade and that is from the Nocturnal palette. So yeah, so that's basically all I did. All right, sweetie, so let us talk about the palettes. In all of the three palettes, you do have cardboard packaging. In all of them, you do have mattes and shimmers. It kind of feels like in some of them, you do have also um, normal shimmers, but also metallics or metallic leaning shades. And then also, of course, duochromes. You do have a nice size mirror in each palette. 
as you can see I'm just using this as an example you do have shade names you do have also the ingredients on the back okay so that's basically basics about all of them of course the same applies to uh, this palette you know in each case the sleeve looks exactly like the palette so I'm not going to bring out the sleeves now but they look exactly the same all right sweeties now let us maybe start with this one because I kind of showed you this one first also in the swatches so I'm going according to the alphabet you know this starts with an F so that is the first in line okay sweeties of course color scheme wise super super pretty also in each palette you do have nice depth you know just saying before I forget also a few nice lighter tones this this, for example, is one of those metallic leaning shades. This is a champagne shade that you can also, of course, use as a highlighter. Very, very beautiful. I think the star of the show is kind of this one that I used, unfortunately, or I don't know if it's unfortunately, but I covered it up a little bit with the glitter today, but I just kind of felt like it, okay? So that, of course, this one is also super, super striking when applied. All the shimmers in all the palettes pick up nicely on the brush, are very, very opaque, and also, in addition to that, build so that is super super nice okay I also hope that you did see the shifts in the swatches because the dual chromey shades oh, which for example this one is one of them um, is this is maybe not even the best example because this shift is maybe not even the strongest I'm going to maybe show you then in a different palette but so so pretty okay now the only thing that you need to know for this palette is that there is staining you know that you have to take into consideration for me this is not a problem I just do my makeup and whatever you know but for some people it is a problem so then in that case maybe this is not the right palette for you but maybe one of the other ones you know but for me definitely there was some staining with this one okay now let's go on to the lucid dreams palette uh, this is how this one looks and I have to say that this is probably of those three palettes the one where I'm just drawn to naturally the most because I think it is super super pretty super pretty comfort zone it's so so nice you know so this is beautiful here you do for example also have a duochrome let's see let's see if I can show you this one it kind of shifts between purple and turquoise teal kind of it's so so striking and maybe you can also see how foiled it is you know so these shades are super super pretty also this one for example is a duochrome this one is not as I want to say not as opaque is maybe wrong um, but it is also much much lighter so with these lighter shades but you see how foiled these are do you see this so so pretty but you kind I kind of feel like these I have to build up a little bit but they could also be because they're just lighter you know and I feel more safe with a darker shades because it's just I get immediate results you know what I mean that's just what I love okay but also this one is a duochrome also this one is a duochrome so you do not have the same amount of duochromes in each palette so if you want to have a big amount of duochromes this would be one of the choices I think even this one is no it's not sorry <laughs> okay sweeties uh, this is what it is but there is a dark purple I think in the nocturnal palette that is a duochrome I'm going to show you in a second so this is the palette I think this is super super beautiful the only thing that I would have maybe have changed but that is only because of my own personal makeup style make this shimmer here a matte you know but other than that I think this is brilliant it's absolutely brilliant okay now the last palette is the nocturnal palette and of course also here you do have a very very magical color scheme the combination between those pastel shades and then also those very very dark shades it is just so mysterious and kind of like a dark forest and then rays of sunlight coming between like coming down between the trees this is really well yeah this is how it looks you know so this is how she looks I did not use those pastel shades a lot because you know that I'm not so much into pastels also of course you saw today that I blended out this dark blue basically with itself so that is what I do but of course you do have those options so that is really really nice for people who do like pastels you do also have a black and the white in the palette I have to say with these two that the pigmentation they're not the super most pigmented shades now 
white I don't really care because I think whites should only be used on a white base anyway but beyond that I'm not really using white mattes a lot can look super super nice in an inner corner as an inner corner highlight though I'm just not doing it a lot but it looks really really nice and um, the black I think could be maybe a little bit more boom but that is just me because I like shades that are very very much boom you know but it is definitely buildable and it's everything is fine it just depends what your preferences are okay so then here um, here you do have this darker purple that is actually a duochrome that's the one that I meant but also here you do have a beautiful beautiful shades maybe you can see this can you see this maybe the shift is not like super super strong but I think I think there is a shift I kind of feel like there is one is there one? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. What I also really, really like in this palette that is this silver metallic here, which is so, so beautiful. And of course, here also you do have beautiful um, duochromy shades, which are super, super foiled, you know? Yeah. Okay, so also here, this light green in there is also super, super opaque and beautiful. This is what I have in my inner corner. And also, as I already told you, I blended out the darker green with this one. Very, very pretty. Also, this one, it looks kind of understated in the palette but sweeties when you wear this it is really really striking super striking you know so just saying so this is all super super nice I really really enjoyed this I wish I wouldn't have gone through such a bad time in in my soul lately you know because otherwise I would have played more and more but I just felt so overwhelmed with life right now I don't know do you have these kinds of moments where you just feel like everything is too much and if you add just one more thing you're going to break this is kind of how I feel or how I felt now today I'm back I'm feeling much much better I also really really like how I look with makeup you know and also that already in itself makes me feel good and everything just feels a little bit better when I have lashes on and like dark eyes and stuff like that but <laughs> you know that is what it is okay but sweeties back to the palettes I think this is definitely a brand to look out for. I have now altogether six palettes from this brand because also previously I got already two palettes, the Metamorphosis palette and was it called the Hyperchrome palette? I want to say it was called the Hyperchrome palette. And then of course also the How Merlot Can You Go, which is definitely also something that is going to come up, obviously. Okay, sweeties, I love this brand. I think this is definitely a brand you have to look out for because I think the creativity in the palettes, how they are put together, theme-wise and also execution-wise, how everything that you think you're getting, you're actually getting in the palette, and then also how they are put together. They are a little bit like out of the box and different, but so, so cool that um, this is a brand where I was like immediately when I saw these palettes, there was no doubt in my mind that I want to have these on my eyes. Now, for me personally, I felt um, they make the most sense when you combine them because of, for example, having those pastel shades in this palette which I'm not really using so much you know so for the most looks I actually combined these two because that is just so so beautiful then I think I did one look just with uh, this one and then today I combined all of those you know so um, I think combining them for someone who likes to work with a lot of colors that is of course me if you don't then maybe you're okay with just one but um, I really really love to combine stuff and to have like a lot of choices also of course because of my needs for like dark mattes and stuff like that so that is what I did but of course you can make your own choices according to what you like sweeties this is what it is for today please of course check out my description box because I do have discount codes with a whole lot of indie brands down there beyond that of course also one with pink cross cosmetics beyond that you'll find my makeup of today listed in the description box you'll have my links to my social media ways to support my channel and all kinds of stuff so please check it all out beyond that leave me your comments in the comment section how you have been doing. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to have you here and I'll see you here super soon. And up until then, definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye.